Loving Light Cancer, welcome to the channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Compassion. It's time to have a little bit more compassion for yourself, Cancer. I feel like you've been doing too much judging. And I, when I say judging, I mean like you've been judging yourself for something. Maybe like feeling like you haven't made the right decision or you haven't, um, you just being too hard on yourself is really the energy that I'm getting here, okay? D listen, I don't know... Um, Spirit is just saying, be be a loving person, okay? I don't know if you're dealing with somebody here who is uh, in your energy, who's being a bully. Um, hopefully, you're not the one being a bully here, but I'm definitely getting bully energy here or like a horrible friend. I, mean, I feel like, okay, if you aren't the person who's being the bully or a horrible friend, then you might be feeling bully right now, or you may be feeling like you have some horrible friends. Now, if this is you, you could be distant from from some friends because you're going through a little bit of something right now. Whatever it is that I feel like you're struggling with and going through right now, it is going to be resolved because there is resolution energy out here. But the thing is, is that the solution to the issue, even though I feel like you don't know which way to go, you don't know which choice to choose, or you really are confused about what you're going to do about the situation, right? You may not have all the answers right now, Cancer. That's what it looks like here as far as the energy is concerned. But there is going to be an opportunity to move forward, right? You will have a resolution. It's just not going to look like exactly what you think it will, okay? It's going to look a little bit different is what this energy is giving me. And it will give you some relief. So don't worry. There is an opportunity here to start fresh start new do something different or just do it a different way all right so resolution energy but the thing is here spirit is guiding you and telling you here to focus cancer shift your focus on like what works not what is not working right um pay extra attention to where you're placing your focus and and make sure you're moving towards positive um action right creating your whatever this is that you have to do to create an amazing life that is where you need to shift your focus okay don't focus on the negative and i know i say this all the time on the channel but like i have to say this because it's really simple principles to live by but i know it's more it's more difficult than it is right you can it's easier to say than it is to practice so just keep practicing okay it's, it's a practice it doesn't mean you have to be perfect so take it easy on yourself now we have the energy of presence. You're being asked to spend more time in the present moment and to stop worried about the past, right? Stop ruminating or, you know, worried about the future. Because I feel like, especially you see this picture here, it's like, you don't know which way to go. Should I go left? Should I go right? Should I pick this? Should I pick that? Like, you're focused on what didn't work in the past and then you're worried about the future, but so like you cannot focus on and experience what's happening in the moment, Cancer, and that's really what's going to be important here for you. Spirit definitely wants you, wants you to focus on the beauty of what's happening in the now, all right, and be a little bit more compassionate towards others or yourself, okay? Some of you guys may have an aunt that you love or, or hold dearly to you, reach out to that aunt. That person may have some advice, okay? Or you could be the aunt or the uncle that has good advice, all right? I know that's random, but what do we have here for cancer? What else? All right. And I did not say ask for help, invite help. This aunt or this uncle might actually be helping you with something or someone here is helping or you need to be asking for help here. It says, I'm finally ready. God, pursue me. So seriously, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to pray about it. Maybe you've already prayed about the situation. Again, if you prayed about it, Spirit is definitely telling you here, Cancer, there's a resolution coming very soon, but it may not look like what you expected. Okay, so make sure you are paying attention. Now, I, there's something, okay, there's an energy here of like you, need, you being on your own path, right? Your path does not look like what everybody else's path is, right? Your path is your own unique lane. Stay in your lane. Don't pay attention to what's happening to you on your left. Don't pay attention to what's happening to other people on the right. Stay focused and stay in your lane. Stay focused on whatever it is that goal is, I'm telling you, because... There's a, there's just an energy here of you needing to have more compassion with yourself and then staying in your lane and understanding that, you know, right now where you are, you might be feeling a lack of guidance 
maybe a lack of hope, which kind of is coming across as being unsure, right? Feeling a little bit unsure. So let's see what this energy is about. What's this about, Spirit for Cancer? Ooh, love. Okay, so Cancer, are you... um? Okay, so if you're going through something and it, when it comes to your love life, whatever it is that you might be wanting to happen right now, it may not be happening as fast as you'd like it to. It may not look like you expected it to, or it may not be like going as you planned or something, but it definitely has something to do with love. Okay, maybe not for all of you, but definitely here, this energy Spirit is saying, remain positive here. Keep, keep, just wait. It's not happening just yet, but it will be resolved. I'm telling you here, all right? Spirit is saying, maybe let go. I don't know what you need to let go of here. You know what you need to let go of. For some of you guys, cancer, letting go could be letting go of a relationship. Letting go could be um, you letting go of the expectation of something being some, some type of way by now, or, you know, or you wanting a relationship to whatever that is, spirit of saying, just wait, be positive, let go of the expectation. Okay. What else we have for cancer? Okay. Car just flew over here. All right. It says, let go, <laughs> again, let go, Cancer. Let go of fear of the, let go of the fear of the unknown. We often use fear. Uh, we often fear the unknown because we are attracted or attached to the familiarity of something, but spirit is encouraging you to face the unknown with a brave heart and remember that you are never alone, okay? So you're never alone here. Uh, don't worry if, if you're wanting to do something that has to do with a relationship and you want to maintain control, spirit is reminding you, you know, do not be attached to something that you just think, right? It's supposed to be going a certain way by now or by a certain time, or it's supposed to look like exactly what you thought or imagined. Now, it doesn't mean that the resolution of what's coming, right? It's not going to be better because it's always better, but we just never see that, right? We just never see it until we get there in hindsight. We're like, oh, that makes so much sense. Now I see why that went the way that that went, right? But Spirit wants you to remain um, resilient while you are going through this process, okay? Um, you have strength in your blood. You have the power within you to overcome anything, okay? Whatever life is throwing at you, I feel like you guys are kind of really, really going through a hard time and you feeling you are feeling defeated right now. Um, and whatever the situation is that's making you feel defeated here, don't feel defeated, okay? You're, you are unbreakable. You are cancer. Just hold on. Have a little bit more compassion for yourself. Be tender, okay, with yourself. Be loving and kind to yourself. Let's see what's going on in your finances, all right? What's going on with Cancer's finances, please? You guys hit the like button for me here. If anything resonates for you, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you're not a subscriber, if you need a personal reading, that information is below in the description box also. I am running a special one question for $10 right now. Um, yeah. So you're looking for some answers, man. I'm telling you, you guys are like looking for a better outcome or, you know, you might even be looking for a better work, like a better job. You might not be happy with the job that you have right now. If you're looking for another job, do not be looking for another job on your job's computer or at your job or at work. Okay. Don't do it. Don't think... <laughs> Cancer, do not think, like, if you just erase the browser history at work, like, people are not going to see. No, don't do that, okay? Because they will see. It came out, okay? I don't... But, anywho, so just be discreet about you looking for another job. Don't tell all your business. Um, I think you guys are looking for your life purpose here. You don't feel satisfied with what's going on right now. You are really searching for your life purpose. It's coming. Just stay focused. You're on the right path here. It's, yeah, you're on the right path. Look, look at this. Your ships are coming in passage. Uh, some of you guys might be thinking about traveling or relocating for work. That message is not for everyone here. Or listen, the current situation that you're in is temporary, okay? You're just doing this because it's a way to pay your bills. It's a means to an end, right? It's 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 not with the forever thing or you don't really feel like what you're doing right now 
who this is resonating for you're not you don't feel connected or like this is your purpose to what you're actually doing right now okay you just feeling like you're uncertain about okay what am i on the right path and what i'm doing right now is is this really my purpose because you're on an uncertain voyage you're getting ready to embark on a new path let go of control okay and just enjoy the discovery as you go as you move along okay what else for cancer when it comes to career okay yeah look at this moving up you are really shedding some old skin here you are ready for bigger and better things cancer you're moving up in the world somebody could be traveling to paris you could be thinking about traveling somewhere here across the water somewhere you're about to, remember we talked about the power that you have on the inside here you're you're gaining some form of power or control or leadership it's time for you to step into some form of leadership role here or step into your inner power find your inner power and bring that to the surface and let other people see how you can gain control keep control and lead right step into your leadership okay um abilities because you do have leadership abilities i don't know if you've tapped into that yet but you do have leadership abilities but some of you guys are about to get a promotion of some sort you're either moving into a better job or a better promotion or or another job that is a promotion or a level up for you you're moving up the corporate ladder or if you own your own business then you're doing better at this business here you're getting ready to climb the ladder of success here so you're just outgrowing where you are right now like you're outgrowing the current position position that you're in or you've outgrown the job where you are you know you just your goals that you have you you're on another level and you don't that's why this current situation just doesn't sit well with you cancer and i totally get it i totally get it some of you guys work in the health uh, department somebody could work with the health department um, or you work in health and medicine or herbs or you've been thinking about discovering something within that area you should totally pursue that okay definitely pursue it so now let's see what's going on in love because there's definitely something that happening in your love life here because romance came out and spirit wants to talk about it so let's see what do we have here for cancer when it comes to love cancer when it comes to love Cancer, do you have trust issues? You do have trust issues. Yeah. You don't trust somebody. Either you don't trust somebody or you don't you don't trust that um you some of y'all are worrying or wondering why somebody's moving so slow. Or if you've made a decision to go slow in a connection right now. And take your time to get to know somebody or to, or not rush into commitment or like not rush to get married or like whatever that rush is. This is you trying to make a decision like spirit is saying slow down and make a good decision for yourself. Is this the right decision for you? Because it seems like to me you guys are trying to decide whether or not you want to be with somebody it looks like here. And there are some trust issues. Okay, we got go slow decision it's time to decide about this relationship what else for cancer time apart okay so you are either a thinking about spinning splitting with somebody and calling it quits or taking a break maybe because you're feeling like you're not getting exactly what you deserve out of the connection you're not getting something out of the connection somebody uh-oh Ooh, and get, look what just fell out. Somebody here is either giving too much or you feel like you're not giving enough. And so there's definitely some time apart between you and somebody because, and look at this, somebody set boundaries or you're feeling like you need to set boundaries and it's time to make a decision to do that. Let's see. Yeah. Show me what else for love for cancer, please. TikTok. Yeah, you feel like you're holding back somebody's holding you could be dealing with a leo you know yeah you could be dealing with a leo there goes that indecision right which way do i go i don't know what i want to do i don't know why you feel pressured to like rush something here spirit is saying slow down or this could be you putting the brakes on something because you don't really know what you want to do right 
Ooh, the land of milk and honey and serendipity is here. This gets better and better. Whatever it is, you guys, I'm telling you. I feel like, you guys, the why at the bottom of the deck. Some of you, not everybody. Uh-oh, what was that? Some of you guys, not everybody here is wondering why something hasn't happened like why you haven't gotten married or why your you know connection didn't work out or something that you thought by now things would be rainbows and butterflies and happiness and serendipity you know there's a lot of energy here available to you it's like weird it's like coming out of an energy of like being in the shadows and the darkness and like not being happy to being really really happy so it seems like to me there's a connection here where you thought or your person thought that that's where you would be in this Ten of Cups energy by now, but you're not. So you're like, okay, do I want to take a break? Do I, you know, hmm. could be dealing with the Sagittarius and the air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Leo. But again, Spirit is saying waits. The TikTok energy is here. We already saw that weight energy, right? But it's like somebody is ready to let go of something real quick. But there's an energy of like, whoa, slow down. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Two of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. For Cancer. Yep. Okay. There goes that Three of Wands. Man, somebody wants to talk about the next phase where this relationship is going. Um, yeah, you're stressed out about where this relationship and where this connection is going, Nine of Swords. You're in a lot of anxiety about it. It's just like, why hasn't this happened yet? What's going on? Or evaluating the situation. This could be somebody that you were in a connection with too. You could have already had an ending with this person. And there definitely, I feel like, it's some form of trust issue here. Mm -hmm. So where is this connection going for cancer? Where is this connection going for cancer? Oh, look at that. Manifesting. You can go wherever you want it to go with the magician Gemini energy. This can go wherever you want it to go. If you have patience. If you just focus on what's happening now. Where's this connection going for cancer? Yeah, look at that. Six of swords. Listen, if you want to move on cancer, I'm just going to tell you this because you, you make the decision for yourself. But if you want to move on cancer, do that. Okay, because if you decide to move on, I feel like you're manifesting something new and there's still something good for you, right? The situation is going to be resolved regardless and you will come out of this nine of swords energy and you will move into having some peace. You'll move into calmer waters here. You will. Um, if you stay, you know, you'll come out of the turmoil and um, you guys will work things out. But it's all about your thought process. And it's about thinking positive and focusing on the now, not focusing on the past and not being too, putting too much pressure on what you expect and hope for in the future. Okay. I'm just going to leave it like that. I definitely think you may have had a, some sort of ending or break or like break from this person. Somebody here may want to work on something after an ending, but you're like, someone here is kind of like, I don't know, that's what I really want to do here. Seven of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands, and the Death card. Scorpio energy here. So you're either on a break with this person, or you're trying to decide, do you not want to, you know. But you can be dealing with any Zodiac sign, Cancer. I love you guys so much. I'll see you later. Until next time, you guys. Bye.